Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, today is just a quick little tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys about V-Glance One Step. Even though I did say I wasn't going to make any of these, this is really cool. So, I'm um, first... Or you could just check in the description, but I'm going to give some credit to the author. Vsoft.com And what it is is Windows Simulation Software. They have many different ones. V-Star, v -Spore, v -Orb, and then V-Glance. And what this does is give you a super bar for Windows XP. So I already had that downloaded, so I'm just going to double click it. And as you see, it's like this. When you open something, um, it's still in the uh, beta stage, so it's not going to look too hot. Um, it's a full icon. And then, get your Windows 7 style out. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, run it. And um, these people have been making stuff for a really, really long time. And, uh, let me see. Should... There we go. Okay. And now as you see, it's a full icon. Just like Windows 7. And it has the animated um, start button. You scroll off of it. Scroll back on. It lights up a little. Um, this is V-Start. Windows 7 style. And there you go. This is how to get the Windows 7 super bar for Windows XP with the big icons and animated start bar. Um, tomorrow I'm probably going to start making my new program with the with Visual Basic 2008 so it'll be all clickable buttons and no more typing. Um, probably some registry files which will prove the speed of your internet and trying to find that out. And, um, alright, so hopefully this helped you guys. Oops, not that. Um, really nice, cool little thing. Still in the beta state, so if anything happens, um, just leave it alone. But nothing happened for me yet. So, alright, thanks for watching this video, you guys. Bye.